This is the KOBK News for May and June of 1916. Steve Grading reporting. A fire threatened to destroy the entire electric power system to Owatonna. The fire broke out at the power plant of the Public Services Operating Company. Power was out in the city for two hours as firemen fought the blaze, which caused an estimated $2,000 in damage before it could be put under control. Five streams of water kept the fire confined to one end of the plant where it first started. The fire burned near the huge electric search board and other electric equipment. Employees at the plant fought the blaze until the fire department could arrive. The origin of the fire is unknown. The damage was confined to one engine and the gas and heating plants were also not damaged. The Hotel Otana changed ownership when the firm of Morehouse and Adsit turned the business over to F.W. Sanderson. Sanderson plans to remodel and refurnish the hotel at the cost of around $15,000. Morehouse and Adsit had become well-known hotel men in the state and planned to retire. The Otana City Council voted not to allow any licenses to carnivals, even those under the auspices of a local organization. They deemed such shows to be undesirable. Plans for improvements to city parks were also passed, although concerns were raised for costs involved. Alderman Barr felt the improvements should be on a smaller scale each year and not all at once. A record 56 students will graduate from Hoatan High School this June 2nd. Irene Kenyon is the Val Victorian and Edward Wachka is the Solidatorian. Special Officer Schwaki is ushering in the era of the auto cop. This seems to be the swan song for the motorcycle and mounted policemen. The beginning of the auto policemen started on Circus Day and was a great success. Calls for enlistment for Company 1 the supply company are being made. It is hoped that around 175 men will join the Guard when they are ordered out of the mobilization camp. The Army is the mobilization point and enlisting headquarters. With the promise of service under the flag and the chance to see the rest of the country, this is the best time for young men to serve their country. Company 1 the supply company hope to move out by the end of June. To help these young men entering the Guard, nearly $2,000 has been raised by the Soldiers Fund. This fund helps soldiers with needs while they are away serving their country. Steele County has shown great patriotism by heeding the calls for enlistment and giving to the Soldiers Fund. This has been provided by the Steele County Historical Society, preserving and sharing history today for tomorrow.